I still don't understand why people, our human species, the big majority of individuals and persons, they believe in this thing. I don't know. Let's see a hundred photos that make you uh, open your mind. Melted buildings. People say these were carved. No. These were there and then something happened and they were melted. Uh, of course, these buildings, many of them are for the height of our human species. So they're not for like a different type of humanity. Now these here, these were built by our human species. But here, I'm not referring to the, to the white buildings. I'm referring to the cliff, to the actual rock itself. That's not something natural. And this one, again, there's something about it that's not natural from, from the top part, I mean. And yeah, these things in the badlands or in like the wildlands in the, in the desert, of course, water, a cascade water falls because the density of water is bigger than the density of air but people believe in gravity the theory the fake stuff it's uh, it's a choice to believe in fake stuff so uh, more interesting stuff uh, to show you i think i'm not doing anything bad this is devil tower as you can see here people climbing it this is not to do with a tendon or a giant foot it's a tree it was a tree it's actually one of the smallest giant trees height of six kilometers according to the calculations of the diameter of the of the stump and they're like bigger trees there's trees like uh, that reach 10 kilometers 20 kilometers 30 kilometers even 60 kilometers some of them like in Venezuela and Africa so as you can see here these are not uh, human they are veg well vegetable uh, they are plant based plant as in a plant um, vegetation and we don't know what happened we only know what we have today in the world it's full of them if I would have to make videos about this I would make only one channel with videos about this sort of thing and it would take me probably five years at least to uh, get to a point where I could say okay I'm I'm done talking about this so that's how many of them are and that's and I know I'm not even counting the bottom of the oceans and the remote places like in the Arctic regions and where it's frozen and everything it's a lot and whoever believes that lava from the volcano gets solid doing hexagonal shapes while it's falling to the ground uh, against gravity which doesn't exist well you can believe whatever you wish I do I truly respect you these stones and bricks um, sorry, blocks of stone, they were cut using machines, but then who had these machines back in the days of the primitive people of South America in those days uh, and Central America. But yeah, let's move on. This is something artificial as well. It's not something natural you would see every day in nature. And this one, this one, which is, I think it's in Venezuela. This is obviously, it was a building. Something happened, even like a majestic castle. If I put you this photo from Game of Thrones or the, the Lord of the Rings or something like that, then uh, you would truly accept it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in Venezuela or Peru because I'm mixing them. This one, I just selected this for this video because I just like the art style, not because I want to go deeper in it. It's just like an art I like. So, yeah. And uh, many islands, which are not actually islands, but they were fortresses or some kind of buildings and they're petrified and then vegetation grew over the top. And now we call them islands, but you know, and then pyramids that are completely uh, blocked by sand or um, covered in like um, sand and dirt. Uh, Cause there's many of them, even in China today and in the Amazon and places like these which are total death nothing grows now some of them are because of cataclysm by weapons of mass destruction some of them because of the exploitation of minerals uh, done with machines and some just because there was war and that's it and then yeah, of course melted buildings everywhere else uh, bear in mind these rocks um, are different from the snowy mountains in the background those mountains are something else uh, and these rocks again they're not your average type of rock maybe they're actually buildings that were there or something from the terrain that was pro totally melted and destroyed um more melted stuff and you can actually see the the things on the on the walls the, there was something there even sometimes you see like hands or like fingers or any, everything else that comes to your mind um again not carved but melted and when you see these structures these ones are most certainly something artificial that was there and it got petrified um, and then melted bricks 
this is not something you have in a, in an everyday basis that, especially because in russia uh, you had like these uh, bombs falling over Moscow back in the 1800s and 1700s and the heat of those things that's what could have caused this to melt like that and to have these sort of um, of tunnels because they're not even caves they're tunnels and they're melted bricks from the days of the 1800s and, and before in the 1700s and all that stuff so yeah buildings like these which are not carved by hand but done with machines all across the world including Asia and the buildings in Asia are exactly the same as the buildings in Europe and America, considering the fact that the domes and the and the the you know the top of the building. So, lots of things to do with energy and uh, all that sort of thing. This one is awesome because I just like the, how the pyramids look from the top, and it's so flat. And uh, the pyramids are nothing to do with ancient aliens or to do with um, with you know, all that stuff you find online, which is so weird and they've probably been built very recently these pyramids as well again this is a thing to just to say that water falls like that because the density of water is bigger than the density of air so it has nothing to do with gravity but you're welcome to go against the reality of the real world and accept everything you, need, you want to accept caves like these uh, in the middle of nowhere very remote places um petrified hexagonal shapes which are to do with plant life from before cities and temple complexes we call them temples but i prefer to call them buildings for the purpose of energy and then we see a motherboard circuit for a computer or anything else it's exactly the same this is where the whole thing about we are living in a simulation of the matrix so yes and we are energy for this matrix you get the point but you have to see it in the perspective of comparing the two photos um and not just go by all the mumbo jumbo that you have on the internet today uh, places like these in the middle of nowhere in the mountain and you can actually see they were not carved but they were there and it was melted melted buildings and petrified buildings and melted stones all across the world places which were part of a human civilization very different from the ones that you've seen from the white federation buildings um and yes the flattered reality well Call it the no globe earth reality when i say flat i mean it's not a globe with spinning curved water on the exterior of a ball spinning at 1000 miles per hour is what your eyes actually see you see flatness but you do not wish to accept it polaris the north pole star remains perfectly fixed in place night after night year after year century after century the whole thing about why you see the movement of the stars differently from different places in the world i've explained that in other videos it's super simple but people just don't have the time to uh, use five seconds and to understand um, this is what water really does on a spinning ball you put water on a spinning ball and that's what happens but of course the spinning ball earth with curved water globe earth 3d cartoon cgi computer graphics that's what people accept uh, meanwhile in paris or anywhere else i just picked paris because you know the eiffel tower is so romantic so remember when you're going with your girlfriend or your wife and you're kissing each other make sure that you're doing it when Paris and France are on the top of the ball spinning in space because if you don't do it like that your picture is going to look like this because you know at some point Paris looks like this as well as the other places in the world this is what the sphere looks like when it reflects light you have a sphere light and the reflection is a dot the moon is not a sphere because it reflects on the whole surface it's a circular something and we don't even know if it's solid so earth revolves around the sun at you see the numbers curvature of one square mile is that in feet you see the numbers and earth tilts at those degrees still think it's all a coincidence triple six has nothing to do with what you guys say who go to church but you know uh, i'm just trying to open a bit the minds of people when you go to space this is what you do with a uh, with an official rocket uh, the only rockets uh, sent by amateurs they hit something and they come back down so that that's it but these ones they just go like this and they never they never reach a certain height to go into space that's when they switch to cartoons and CGI I'm just saying the the reality of the real things just like the dictionary says what NS NASA means in Hebrew you can pause this to read I'm just stating the facts so huge buildings and of course if you have a, any type of these white buildings uh, with the giant doors and giant domes and giant electromagnetic uh, resources then and no bathrooms hey that's awesome and this is perfect so you can see what our human species from the 1800s and 1700s is capable of you compare it with these buildings and even better ones 
I need to just tell me who built this and who built this because whoever built this cannot build this because this is too super supreme compared to this. So you cannot call the same people to build both things. You, you get my point. Um, again, electric motors, yes. Why do you have horses afterwards for the same type of things on... Um, on metal rails it doesn't make any sense it does make sense however if the technology was in use and then the technology was taken away or the, it, the motors were simply like not capable of doing anything anymore because they were from a different humanity and that's when we come along and we put horsepower and we start from zero again okay. these statues are made with machines pneumatic type of technology we can search for videos of course you can accept that they were built in the 1400s and 1500s by the super supreme um, artists at the order of the religion of the catholic church just for the purpose of the glory of god that's your choice you can believe that if you want you, you can believe whatever you want in your corner i'm just trying to show you the quality of these things and only machine type of work can do something like this especially even like in the case of the women uh, as well uh, many of them are naked in, in, in the so-called buildings where you go to pray for your sins. So yeah, you see penises and boobs all the time. So yeah, that's something that people don't like. Also the jewelry um, uh, with gold and stuff. This is also made with machine and not with your hand. And machine type, the, build, the buildings in Baalbek as well um, from the temples. It was machine built and then left there. Uh, I like that or machine built as well not carved by hand this one I just enjoyed it because it looks so super flat and the Sun is super small local not to do with like far in space and no curvature and everything else so really awesome picture sometimes and yeah, look at the quality of these things in stone this is made with machines and um, and pneumatic hammers and hydraulics and everything you else you want to expect from our technology of today uh, so the same technology many, 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 many years ago, not to mention that 1000 years were added to history. Also, the triumphal arches in the world, especially those ones which are so perfect, like the statues we've seen so far, again, with machines um, again, this one, machines. So the quality of this with with technology and not with your bare hands. Um, the Moscow subway or Met call it. Um, Civilization. People in, people criticize Russia and Moscow so much. I've never seen a metro station or subway station as cool as the one in Russia um, and clean as well. Japan has, but not at the same type of artistic style. Uh, buildings like these, when you see them and then you see the human, our human species, how they were living with horses, it's like almost like out of place, the building with the people. A building with the people especially because many of the times many many times when you see these photos there's no people at all so it's like abandoned cities huge gigantic buildings with domes and nobody there and then you can see some horses and it doesn't make any sense you know and then these cathedral type of buildings again uh, are they the purpose of them are they for like going and praying uh, for your sins or are they electromagnetic buildings um, that have been all over the place because you know every city needed electricity this reminds me of how our humanity uh thinks and uh, deals with um with information every day so i guess you understand my point and uh i mean if you accept that this is happening in real time in the international space station and then there's no cables and then of course there's the guy there with uh, with the blue shirt and t-shirt and the, the watch of course he's just part of the tr of the people in the International Space Station. So this is not a movie studio. It's just in the International Space Station and he's just filming the guys because you know he's the, he was invited there to film them. So yeah. And then the guy there, he's not uh, touching his cable, which is edited out uh, via green screen because if I say so, then you're just going to call me a crazy conspiracy theorist. So yeah. And the way that you're sitting like that is because you're in, in cable mode. So, uh, and then when you spin like that, you're spinning on cable mode and then the cable is edited out with software and with editing software so it's fine um the hidden continents and the mountain in the middle that's the central part but 
people uh, think that we're so special. We're not, because like if you if you would be allowed to go in a straight line uh, with the boat and the ships or the planes from Iceland and Greenland and Scandinavia and Europe and uh, Alaska and Canada and Siberia and Russia and the States, um, you would get to that point there and you get to the central part of the building, oh uh, sorry, of the mountain, and that's what we call the north. But then there's other worlds with the same type of central north, the magnetic stuff. That's why your compass goes crazy if you're approaching them. So yeah. Uh, if the blonde hair of the Egyptian mummies you see pictures above was the result of the mummification process, then why are the statues of the royal Egyptian pharaohs and nobility pictured below depicted with the blue eyes? Well, uh, it's up to you to decide what you want to believe. And then this whole thing with the man with the mustache in Germany in the Second World War, you see, let's see, India, Russia, Germany, USA, Etruscan, Iraq, Poland, Navajo, Tibet, Peru, Hiti, Hopewell, Tration, super important, Anglo-Saxon, Korea, Iran, Italy, Armenia, uh, Aztec, Ethiopia, Japan, Anasazi, Basque, and Israel, everywhere in the world. So you see my point, then, but people don't like to study history. So yeah, uh, these huge buildings, again, see that these like markings and the shapes and everything, it's exactly the same principle over and over again in the whole world. Um, and then how about in like in all the pictures with the edited gray out sky, you had these type of airships and even more modern like you see in the movies but then they were edited out so you don't ask uncomfortable questions or people say oh you have something against no nothing it's just like i know that our human brain with the neurons works with electromagnetic impulses just like a robot so now you can understand what we are um did you know you can pause this and you can read because it's very straightforward uh, regarding conspiracy theorists. And the 1000 years extra, you see these coins with uh, you know, stating, uh, for example, 8th century, 7th century, but then uh, Wikipedia speaks about the 17th and the 18th century, so 1000 years more. And conspiracy theorists think everything is a cover up. False. We question everything, do our research, and come to conclusions that scare you or that you, they make you feel uncomfortable in your corner. It's just the way it works. So, um, you see, it has a J and 783. We have absolutely no idea what a J or the I means, but we know that instead of uh, those years, uh, you add the, the numeral one. And that's why right now, the year we live in right now, it would be 1,223, I guess. So more like either a J or an I in stone, on paper, on tombs, on coins. Um, and I'm not going to go into a religion mode now because I have absolutely no idea if that I or J means one thing or the other because we are ignorant. And at least I'm stating the facts. We are ignorant and it's not something bad to say. I am ignorant in Chinese or in or in, I know, in Portuguese. Um, so it's okay to say that you're ignorant in something. And this one, I really enjoyed it because it reminded me of the days of the quarantine in 2020 and 21, when it was compulsory also to wear a mask everywhere. In those days when I was going out and I was barely able to breathe, I was looking at the women on the street and all the women were so gorgeous to my eyes because I could only see their eyes. So um, I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying that I really appreciate when a woman has the eyes it's that mysterious feel of um, mystery like attraction I don't know why it's so attractive to men to see this type of form it's like you know it leaves the mind to imagine oh what's underneath and I want to see the whole face so yeah uh, again um, if you decide that this is the reality of the world you live in I truly respect you because gosh it takes a lot of imagination and willpower in, in the human mind to accept something like this so see you in the next video